Hello, I'm John Remmers. I'm Chief Medical Officer of Zephyr Sleep Technologies. Zephyr manufactures and distributes the product Matrix. And I want to tell you today about how you review and interpret the results from a Matrix titration study. The guidelines for interpretation are very simple. And we essentially look at the patient under the worst case scenario. If you have one or less apnea or hypopnea in a five minute window of REM sleep supine, the worst time, then you can predict that the patient will be a successful candidate for oral appliance therapy. Uh, if one does not see REM supine, uh, but uh, has a view of REM lateral and the patient is a confirmed side sleeper, then let REM lateral can be used. Case one is an obese patient with severe obstructive sleep apnea, not the person that you might normally think of as a good candidate for oral appliance therapy, 42-year-old female, AHI 41, BMI 32. The resting position was at 10, and the upper limit was at 17, and this is the hypnogram resulting from the matrix study on this lady. It was in interval one, you can see non-REM sleep on the side uh, with modest protrusion, no sleep apnea. However, in, in interval two, REM sleep ensues, and even though the patient's on the side with moderate protrusion, we have lots of sleep apnea. By contrast, in intervals three and four, the patient is in REM sleep uh, and on the back, with the protrusion being 14.5, and you can see that we have one event in each prolonged period of REM. So overall, we can predict that this obese patient with severe sleep apnea will be a success with oral appliance therapy and the, at a protrusive position of 14.5. A therapeutic outcome study was carried out with a somnodent appliance in place and uh, found the AHI of 4.0. So a dramatic improvement from 14, uh, from 41.4 down to 4, to 4 in AHI, uh, despite this being severe sleep apnea in an obese patient. Case two is kind of the converse. It's an obese patient, but this time with mild OSA, a 51-year-old, 57-year-old female with an AHI of 11 and BMI of 30. The limits of motion are 8 to 12. Here in the hypnogram resulting from the matrix study, uh, you can see with moderate protrusion uh, on the side in non-REM sleep, interval one, no disturbances at all. Uh, in REM sleep, uh, in interval, go to interval number three now. We have REM sleep while the patient is on the back. And despite full protrusion, we have still uh, scads of respiratory events. So we can clearly say this patient will be a, a therapeutic failure. And in fact, uh, a therapeutic outcome study was carried out with the oral appliance adjusted to maximum. And we had an AHI of 24. Uh, in other words, a, a worsening with therapy from 11 to 24 with therapy, as predicted by the matrix study. The next case is an obese patient with moderate OSA, a 76-year-old male with a pre-study AHI of 18 and a BMI of 32. The limits of motion are 12 to 19. And the hypnogram, uh, in this case, shows that uh, in the interval one, we have REM sleep on the side with lots of uh, respiratory events at modest protrusion. Interval two, non-REM sleep on the back with uh, near full protrusion, no respiratory events. But interval three and interval five are both uh, REM sleep and we have lots of respiratory events. And in interval three, we have, uh, we're on the, the patient is sleeping on the back and in interval five on the side. But in any case, we have near maximum protrusion in REM sleep and uh, find that there's still uh, plenty of sleep apnea present. Therefore, we can predict therapeutic failure. Uh, a therapeutic outcome study was carried out with the oral appliance in place and revealed an AHI of 20.8. This is up slightly from the baseline's uh, AHI of 17.9. The next case is an overweight patient with moderate OSA, 55-year-old male, AHI of 17 and BMI of 27. The limits of motion are 10 and 18. The hypnogram resulting from the matrix titration study uh, revealed that in REM sleep, 
uh, interval number two and interval number one, both in the supine posture, we have lots of respiratory events. Uh, this is with either modest, uh, moderate protrusion interval one and your maximum protrusion at interval number two. Therefore, we can predict that this patient will be a therapeutic failure. Uh, and uh, in fact, the matrix prediction was correct. An outcome study was done with an oral appliance in place, and we had an AHI of 14.6. Uh, that is up from, uh, that is down slightly from 17.2 in the baseline study. The last study is an underweight patient with severe obstructive sleep apnea, a 56-year-old female, and it's important here is a confirmed sad sleeper on the baseline study. The AHI is 34 and the BMI is 18. The limits of motion are 10 to 16. Here we have a, a conditional predicted success that I'm going to show you. In interval number one, uh, with the patient uh, in non-REM sleep, on the back we have modest protrusion and uh, sleep apnea, lots of respiratory events. In interval number two, we have a period of REM sleep, patient on the side, and uh, note with, with modest protrusion, we have uh, no respiratory events. So that's encouraging. Interval number three, we now have non-REM sleep, the patient on the back, and uh, we have a near maximum protrusion and uh, uh, no respiratory events. And then again, interval number four is a, a, a REM on the side again uh, with no respiratory events. So overall, we can say that uh, with the patient sleeping on the side, and bear in mind that the patient is a confirmed side sleeper, uh, we predict success, and this should be at a target protrusive uh, position of 15. A therapeutic outcome study was carried out with a somnodent appliance in place at 15 uh, millimeters of protrusion, and we had observed an AHI of 8.7. Uh, this is down dramatically from the baseline value of 34.4. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour through uh, interpretations of the matrix study. To learn more about matrix, and I hope you would like to, please contact us at, Zeph at Zephyr Sleep Technologies at the phone shown. Uh, also, I'd like to note that Zephyr has recently launched our social media sites, so we invite you to like, follow, and connect with us as well as watch our expanding library of YouTube videos.